guys, it's Jane here and this video I'm going to share to you how I wash my GDR and the first thing to take note is the weather check if it's um, too sunny or um, it's too cold for me the best weather to wash your car is either the before, sun, before sunrise or after sunset because um, on th this time the body of the car is quite cold and you don't want it to be too sunny because um, if you apply water or if you, after sprinkling itself the water will just dry up quickly and form water spots on your paint which would ruin your paint so yeah let's get it on and um, the next thing to do is um, gather all stuff for washing and yeah I too I use a two bucket system this one's this one's for the car shampoo itself and this one's for rinsing and I get this um, washcloth here yep and I use um, mothers for um, for the car shampoo because um, mothers knows best eh? uh, yeah and I also had the um, chrome and polish this is this chrome and polish I only apply for the um, muffler so yeah let's get started you know, I grab this um, car shampoo put it on the um, I think that's just about enough. Put the lid back. Yep. And get some water. Okay. Now rinsing the car. I'd always start from you know, from top to bottom because the top part is the cleanest part of the car and you know the bottom one is always um, you know touching with the or having the road pavements there so you could see the uh, dirty one especially the near the tire wheels there the. oh yeah so I always start um, rinsing from the top Rinse my washcloth first, then I dip it in the car shampoo, then I apply it on the car. Now before um before applying the car shampoo, I always um divide my car into two sections. This one, uh, you can see that line here. I just put like an imaginary line there. So from the top part, I considered it, considered it the cleanest or the cleaner part. In the lower part, I uh, considered as a, a 31. And yeah, from the same with the uh, rinsing, you always start with the from top to bottom. Okay, so apply it with that here. Mm -hmm. and after um, you know, after the application, this one. You always first dip it on the, um, you know, get the water to rinse the fine particles of the, um, to remove the dirt. Yeah, give it a, a good squeeze. Well, it's so hard using only one hand here. Yeah, and again.
did that, we're going to start the uh, drying phase. Um, first thing you need a. The first thing I need or use is the um, chamois. Or chamois. I don't know what, how to say that one, but yeah. You'll need this one and a clean bucket of water. Chamois is quite wet, soaking wet. So we start with the drying phase and again start from top to bottom. And after that, I do my wheels. And regarding my wheels, um, I don't really use any um, product to maintain them because um, from what I read from work wheels, you only need to use um, uh, clean water and uh, fiber, um, yeah, fiber cloth. Start from top to bottom again. One stroke, like that, like that. And show you guys and yeah also um, before, fin before finishing the drying phase I also um, cleaned uh, or removed the engine from the water accumulation because of the style of you know the, the z tune style yeah and I use a different another um, another clean um, fiber cloth so yeah, I always make sure this one's dry here and the bond as well, you know, just to prevent any uh, water accumulation really. And yeah, I think that's about it. Step and I clean my wheels. Um, like I said, when I clean my wheels, I only use um, water and a fiber, fiber cloth. Uh, before I park in the garage, I always see, uh, spray the sun with um, spray the fiber cloth with water. And yeah, just remove the, you know, the brake dust, road drive, and everything like that. But every um, car wash, I always use um, the bucket, the bucket of water, clean water. You know, soak it like that. And give it a good squeeze. Okay. Now when I clean this one, I always um, start with um, the spokes, then finishing up, finishing it up with the you know the lip, and I also clean the inside part of the wheel, this one here. So uh, spokes, then lip, then inside, then the tire, and that's about it. Okay, once I finish with the wheels, here you can see uh, it's already clean. So I'll start with. Um, Spraying an instant detailer on all, all parts of the car, and all panels, I mean, all panels of the car, and also using a um, clean fiber cloth. Okay, start with um, spraying this one like that, just a small one, and this one, just spread it like that. I use instant Nutella just to retain the, you know, the silky smooth touch of the paint and to give a, uh, some sort of protection. Okay, the last um, thing I'm, um, I'm going to do on, on how I wash my car is applying the chrome polish on the exhaust, or exhaust tip. Yeah, and after this, I'm going to show you the final product. Okay. And that is how I clean my GTR. So if you like this video, please um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do have any uh, suggestions, please do uh, put it in the comment section below. 
and you have a good day and cheers